Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Sarah. If you talk to any of my friends and family, you would find out that I love pumpkin spice. And that's why when I came across the recipe, copycat Starbucks pumpkin bread, I just had to try it. I have made a couple alterations to fit my family's taste, but most of it is just the same. So let's get baking. First start with two cups of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of vegetable oil, four eggs beaten, one 15 ounce can of pure pureed pumpkin, and two thirds cup of water. Okay, I'm gonna add our two cups of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of oil, And the eggs and pumpkin puree. Uh, we're gonna mix this well, and then I'm going to add the white. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna mix this well, and then I'm gonna add the water last after this is all mixed. <laughs> now I'm gonna add our two thirds cup of water and mix well. Once this is all mixed well, I'm going to set it aside and get the dry ingredients out. Next, we're going to get the dry ingredients. That's three and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I'm gonna mix this all together and then sift. If you don't have a sift, you can always use a strainer, a thin wire strainer, and just slowly hit the side of it and you'll see that the flour and spices are mixing and they're getting fine on the bottom of our bowl here. So I'm going to continue to do this until it's all sifted. Okay. Now that I'm done sifting all the flour and spices together, I'm just stirring to make sure it's all mixed evenly together. And then I'm going to add my wet ingredients into the flour. And when you do this, you want to stir it to mix it well, but you don't want to over mix. We don't want to make the batter uh, too thick. So I'm going to gently stir it until it's all mixed, but not over mixing. Now that our mix is mixed well, we're going to put it into two bread loaf pans. I've uh, oiled these, but if you have parchment paper, it's a great idea to cut and put it in the bottom of it, and also uh, put a little oil in there so it won't stick. Um, and then we're going to put these loaves in the oven for 350 for one hour. And we're doing two loaves, so make sure to just put half of the batter into the loaf. You don't want to over spilling over the sides in their oven either. Okay. Now the last step before you put it in the oven is to add our pecans. We're going to add about two tablespoons of chopped pecans. And of course, if you don't like nuts, you can just leave them out. Okay, let's get bacon and put it in the oven. Smells good. Now we're gonna let this cool for a few minutes, and then put it on the rack to let it cool some more. Once your pumpkin bread has cool, you can enjoy it plain or with some cream cheese. 
Um, and you can also uh, freeze the leftover uh, loaf in the freezer for up to two weeks. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. Please like and subscribe.